Hello friends, welcome to Mind Your Math YouTube channel, 8th class mathematics. Today in this video, let us discuss the solutions of formative assessment to 2022 to 23 mathematics conducted by government of Andhra Pradesh. Let us see the question paper. First one, answer the following questions. In this, in this section, we have four problems. All these are just one mark questions. Let us see the first problem. Solve 17 plus 6p equal to p. 17 plus 6p equal to p. This is the given equation. We need to solve this one. Solving means finding the value of the variable which satisfies the given equation. Here the variable is p. So we need to find out the value of p. Whenever we are solving a linear equation, we need to bring all the terms involving the variable to left side and all the terms which are not involving the variable that means constants to right side here p is the variable we have p in two terms in 6p and here p so what we do is send this 17 to right side so that means 6p equal to p if you send this 17 to right side it will be negative 17 now bring this p to left side that means send p to left side. So 6p minus p equal to negative 17. So from this 6p minus p is 5p. That is equal to negative 17. Now we can send this 5 to right side. 5p means 5 times p. So if you send this 5 to right side, it will divide the right side value. So we can write p equal to negative 17 divided by 5. This is the answer for first problem. Let us see the second problem. Draw a rough diagram of concave quadrilateral. Concave quadrilateral. What does it mean? First of all, quadrilateral means it has four sides. Then concave means at least one interior angle must be more than 180. We can draw the concave quadrilateral like this. Draw one side like this. This is the second side. Third side and fourth side now here if you observe this angle is more than 180 degrees this is greater than 180 degrees so this is a concave quadrilateral next third problem all squares are parallelograms true or false that means we need to say whether this statement is true or false what is the definition of a parallelogram a quadrilateral in which two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. That is a parallelogram. In square also, two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So, all the squares are parallelograms. So, this is true. Next, which of the following is linear equation in one variable? Linear equation in one variable. Linear equation means the equation for which the degree is 1. So, that means exponent of the variable is 1. And one variable, so that means it has only one variable, maybe x or maybe y or maybe z like that. Now, if you see the options, in option A, x plus y. So, we have two variables here. So, this is not correct. In B, x square plus 3 equal to 2. So, that means x square, that means degree is 2. So, in this case, degree equal to 2, that is exponent of the variable. So, this is not a linear equation. In C also, we have x as well as y. Here, we have two variables. So, this is also not a linear equation in one variable. In option D, you see x plus 3 equal to 0. This is a linear equation and moreover in one variable. So, option D is correct. Next, fourth problem. Find measure of each exterior angle of a regular pentagon. Pentagon means a polygon with five sides. So, here we have five sides. Regular, that means all the sides and all the angles are equal. Here, each exterior angle we need to find out. We know that sum of exterior angles in any polygon, sum of exterior angles equal to 360 degrees. Here in regular pentagon, we have 5 equal exterior angles. So, that means sum of 5 equal exterior angles equal to 360 degrees. So, therefore, each exterior angle equal to each exterior angle equal to 360 degrees divided by 5. 
that is equal to 5 times 7 is 35 then 1 will be there 0 so that means 10 5 times 2 is 10 so each exterior angle equal to how much 72 degrees let us go to next section solve the following problems fifth problem what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon and why we know that sum of interior angles equal to sum of interior angles interior angles equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees here if n value is getting increased then sum of interior angles and each interior angle also will be increased so then we need to check what is the possible value of n such that sum of interior angles or interior angle is defined here clearly if you take n equal to 2 suppose 2 means n minus 2 is n minus 2 equal to 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0 there will be no angle that means n must be greater than 2 so we take n equal to 3 so n equal to 3 n equal to 3 means number of sides equal to 3 that means that is a triangle and moreover this is a regular polygon that means if all the sides are equal then the triangle will be equilateral triangle so therefore sum of interior angles equal to sum of interior angles equal to n means 3 so 3 minus 2 times 180 degree that will be equal to 3 minus 2 means 1 1 into 180 so that is 180 degree so therefore each interior angle equal to each interior angle equal to 180 degree divided by here number of sides equal to 3 so that is why 3 so which is equal to 180 by 3 means that is 60 degrees this is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon let us go to problem number 6 sum of two numbers is 75 if one exceeds the other by 25 find the numbers so if one exceeds the other by 25 means if one number is x then the other will be x plus 25 so let us write this let the numbers equal to let the numbers equal to suppose if you take x as one number then the other number will be x plus 25 why because one number exceeds the other by 25 now sum of two numbers equal to 75 sum equal to 75 that is given so therefore let us take sum of these two numbers x and x plus 25 so x plus x plus 25 equal to 75 x plus x means 2x plus 25 which is equal to 75 so 2x equal to 75 minus 25 which is equal to 50 so 2x equal to 50 means x equal to 50 divided by 2 which is equal to 25 so one number is 25 second number equal to equal to this exceeds by this one by 25 so 25 plus 25 which is equal to 50 so therefore the numbers equal to 1 is 25 and the other one is 50 now let us go to the next section seventh problem the measure of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram or in the ratio of 2 is to 3 find the measure of each angle let us take first a parallelogram suppose this is a parallelogram here measure of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram suppose this angle is something like x then suppose this angle is the adjacent angle for this one suppose let us take this one as y these two will be adjacent angles and and these are in a ratio 2 is to 3 so here so here we can say x is to y equal to 2 is to 3 therefore we can say x equal to something like 2k and y equal to 3k in a parallelogram sum of adjacent angles equal to 180 degrees so here in a parallelogram adjacent angles are 
or supplementary angles. So, sum, their sum will be equal to 180 degrees. So, therefore, x plus y equal to 180 degrees. x means 2k plus y is 3k. That is equal to how much? 180 degrees. 2k plus 3k means 5k. That is equal to 180 degrees. So, k equal to 180 degree divided by 5. That will be equal to 5 times 3 is 15. Uh, 3 will be there, 30, 5 times 6 is 30. So, k equal to 36. So, therefore, x equal to, that is 2k, 2 into k means 36, so which is equal to 72 degrees. Now, y equal to, that is 3k, 3 times 36 degrees, which is equal to 108 degrees. So, these are the two adjacent angles. We can do in another way also, let me show you. Ratio of angles, ratio of angles equal to how much? 2 is to 3. So sum equal to, here sum of uh, these ratios, that is what I am saying. That is equal to 2 plus 3. That is equal to 5. Now, sum of angles equal to, sum of angles equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. Now, therefore, the angles equal to, 1 is 2 by total 5 into 180 degrees. So, angles equal to 2 by 5 into 180 degrees. This is 1. And 3 by 5 into 180 degrees. This is the other one. This is equal to 5 times 1. And this is 5 times 3 is 15. And 5 times 6 is 30. So, 36 degrees. Here also 5 times 1 and 8 times 36 degrees. So, this is equal to 2 times 36 means 72 degrees and this is 3 times 36 means 108 degrees. So, this is the answer for this question. Next problem. Solve 3t minus 2 all over 4 minus 2t plus 3 all over 3 that is equal to 2 by 3 minus t. Here in the denominators we have 4, 3, 3. The LCM of LCM of 4, 3, 3. This is equal to 12. So, multiply both sides by 12. So, we will get 12 times 3t minus 2 divided by 4 minus 12 times 2t plus 3 by 3 equal to 12 times 2 by 3 minus 12 times t. Now, we can cross out actually 4 times 1 and this is 4 times 3. 3 times 1 and 3 times 4. This is 3 times 1 and 3 times 4. Let us simplify this. So, 3 times 3t minus 2 minus 4 times 2t plus 3 equal to 4 times 2 that is 8 minus 12t. Now, you see left side 3 times 3t minus 2. Let us distribute. 3 times 3t that is 90 minus 3 times 2 is 6. Then, minus 4 times 2t, that is minus 8t, then minus 4 times 3, that is minus 12, equal to 8 minus 12t. Now, let us simplify at left side, 90 minus 8t, that is nothing but t, then minus 6 minus 12, that is minus 18, which is equal to 8 minus 12t. Now, send this minus 18 to right side. It will be t equal to 8 minus 12t, plus 18. Now, t equal to, you see here, 8 plus 18, that is 26. So, 26 minus 12t. Now, send this minus 12t to left side. So, t plus 12t equal to 26. t plus 12t, that is 13t equal to 26. So, therefore, t equal to 26 by 13. This is equal to 13 times 1 and 30 times 2. So, this is equal to 2. So, therefore, t equal to 2 is the final answer. Let us go to next problem. The following figures, GUNS and RUNS are parallelograms. Find x and y of each figure. Let us see the first figure. Here, SG and NU, you see, these two are opposite sides. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are 
parallel as well as equal. So we can write 3x equal to 18. So from that we can get x equal to 18 by 3 which is equal to 6. Similarly, 3y minus 1 and 26, these two are also opposite sides. So those are also equal. So therefore we can write 3y minus 1 equal to 26. Then 3y equal to 26 plus 1 which is equal to 27. So from that we can say y equal to 27 by 3 which is equal to 9. So x equal to 6 and y equal to 9. Let us see second problem. Here in this diagram we are given diagonals. In a parallelogram diagonals bisect each other. Bisect each other means each diagonal will divide the other diagonal into two equal parts. So here we can say y plus 7 and 20 these two are equal parts. So therefore we can write y plus 7 equal to 20. So that means y equal to 20 minus 7 which is equal to 13. In the same way you see x plus y and 16. These two are also equal. So we can write x plus y equal to 16. But we already found the value of y that is 13. So substitute y equal to 13. x plus 13 equal to 16. So x equal to 16 minus 13 which is equal to 3. So in this case x equal to 3 and y equal to 13. With this the solutions of FA2 formative assessment 2 of 8th class mathematics is completed. Hope you understand each problem. If you like my explanation please subscribe my channel. This is your Skona Kiran Reddy. Thank you.